I started playing multiple sports when I was young, so not just cricket, which I'm more renowned for, but hockey as well, uh, softball. So I used to play softball in the morning, cricket in the afternoon, and then we used to have a break of about six weeks between seasons, and then I could play hockey and indoor cricket, um, and a little bit of rugby as well, um, and even picked up a badminton racket and filled in for my mum's tennis team. What I did do was probably did a little bit too much. So I ended up with a, having a knee reconstruction, ACL reconstruction when I was 27, and sort of at the peak of my white fern career. Um, and that was a big, big blow for me as well, but a big reality check. So, you know, it's really important to be able to try and monitor. As a kid, you just want to play everything. Um, but as influencers and coaches and parents, we need to keep a track on that as well. So our challenge is to make sure we're still listening to the voice of the participant because it's quite easy for just to listen to the coaches and administrators and what they want, but it's about listening to what the participants want. The saying where practice makes perfect, which you know has been preached for years and years, but it's what you do that counts within those practices um, and what you're achieving and, and the improvements that you that you make. And, and the whole, I suppose, you know, like kids, everyone develops at different rates. I know my uh, White Ferns team, one of my players made her debut when she was 33. Um, so that's how, you know, in cricket, that's probably when your, your mind is matured the most, um, especially as a batter. So I think we need to keep giving people the opportunity to develop at their own rate because there are those late bloomers who we may miss out on. Still, we're getting these parents who are still living their dream through their kids. Um, so those sort of parents will need to step back um, and let the, let the kids make some, some decisions. So that's really important to, uh, to me to make sure that everyone within sport and the enablers, the coaches and the parents are doing everything that's just athlete focused and for the athlete, they need to be the, there first and foremost.